Hey everybody! Welcome to Rachel's Room, where every Thursday I answer your questions. I just got back from Hawaii, so I was sad. And then I drank some coffee, so now I am happy! How is your rash? For those of you who follow my Twitter and or my vlog channel, you will know that while I was in Hawaii, I broke out in a nasty rash. It is just crusty and red and itchy and just disgusting. I went ziplining and I wore, you know, a helmet that they just gave me. It had some disease or bacteria on it and it got all over my chin, so the last two days in Hawaii, or the last day in Hawaii, ain't I remember, but I broke out in this nasty rash that just went all over my face and my neck. So on Wednesday I went to the doctor and I got a shot in my butt and some steroids, so now it is going away and it is better and I am happy about it. Thank you for your concerns. If you want to know more about it or see the process of me having the rash, check out my vlog channel, lock screen at the moment. This. What is it? Oh yes. It is a picture that Josh hates with a passion. Someone put my face and Teeny's face on Josh. Josh's and Jackson's bodies and it made me laugh. I don't know. I see people swap faces all the time But this one got me and I put it as my lock screen and Josh hates it so much But I think it's hilarious so I keep it. It's been that way for a really long time I should probably change it, but I don't really care to do that. That's a lot of work Do you guys do that? Do you get stuck on one lock screen or one background picture and you just it's too much effort to change it Why would you change it? It's there. Would you wear these shoes? Ooh. They're like neon lighted color fun. Yes, I would. I have been on a search for some good Nike shoes and I can't find any cute girl ones. The guys have cool ones, but the girls, I just, every time I go and I look, I hate all of them. I usually really like Nike shoes. I need new ones. Mine are disgusting, but I seriously can't find any good Nike ones. And I hate buying shoes online because you never know how they're going to feel correct. Like, I know I'm a size 10, but that doesn't mean that the size 10 is going to fit me better than the 9.5 or the 10.5. You just never know. Also, something that looks great in a box or on a shelf or on the computer screen is not gonna look good on your foot. It's a hassle. It's a, it's a hassle. Maybe I should just try again. But yeah, these shoes look dope. I'd wear those. How come you don't have a theme song like Colleen does or used to for Rachel's room? Because I'm not a good singer. Because if I made up a song, it would be this. You can imagine the immensity of the questions I'm getting about Miranda, the tours, my height, and the life that I'm living in. So I'll answer all the tweets, answers, and comments. I'm getting low your volume because I scream and press that little play button and get answers. And get it answers. And get it answers. And get it answers. What am I doing in life? What's your least favorite social media platform and why? Uh, my least favorite social media platform would have to be Tumblr because I'm an old lady and I don't understand how to use it. I can't find my friends on it. I can't look through things correctly. It just doesn't make sense. It's not set up like all the other platforms. Tumblr just, I don't get it. There's no search. You can't search for things. I've tried several times. I have a Tumblr. I don't remember the last time I went on it because last time I went on it, I was bored out of my mind and frustrated because I couldn't freaking figure it out. And everyone else is like, oh, it's so easy. You just put gifts on it and those things. And I'm like, how do you make a GIF? I don't know how to do that. You have to have knowledge because I don't have it. I get very angry when I have to talk about Tumblr. And people are like, you need to get on Tumblr, Rachel. I'm like, you need to shut your face and make it easier to work. Clearly, I have a thing against it. If you closed your hand in the car door, what would you do? Because I did, and it freaked me out. I once did get my hand closed in the car door when I was a child. My brother accidentally slammed the car door, and my finger was holding on onto the lock mechanism part and long story short I had to get eight stitches in this finger and then this nail fell off and I cried if I remember correctly yes I cried a lot there were a lot of tears yes so that's what I would do I would cry why does a yacht float and a needle sink I don't have an explanation other than science. I will never get it. If you go on a cruise ship, you look up, there are chandeliers. Do you know how heavy those are? There are people walking all over the boat. There are tables, there are beds. How does it not sink? I know that there is some words that would make smart people understand it, but I am not one of them people. I do not understand how boats and things like this float on the water, but then you put a needle or something on the water, it goes straight down to the bottom. There's no hope for it. I don't get it. I know it's like buoyancy and the water dispersed, please. <laughs> magic. It's magic. Not even science. Screw the science part. It's magic. It doesn't make sense. Seriously. If you ever see a boat, look at it. How in the world is it not sinking? How is the, how is it staying above the water? And how do they know that a certain part 
part of it's gonna go under the water, but not all of it. They know! The magician's wizards that built these boats put some curse on it so that it can't go past a certain thing. Like, I don't get it. I've been on many boats in my day. Many a ship. I don't know the difference between the two, but I do know that they have the same magic involved. So I'm sorry, I cannot answer your question other than science or magic. Is this the end of the video? Yes, Savannah Smiles 27. Alright, yeah, that is the end of the video. Guys, please comment below and leave your questions for next week so I may answer them on next week's Rachel's Room. Also, you can tweet me your questions using the hashtag Rachel's Room. I look through everything to find your questions, so please put them out there for me to read and then say and then answer and then you hear. That's the best system I've ever created. Slash other YouTubers created it. Made me my sister because I copied her. Please subscribe to this channel to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I skipped last Tuesday because I was in Hawaii and I was on vacation. I'm the worst. I'm sorry. Apologies. No. No excuses. I just didn't want really to do it. I'm sorry. But I was daily vlogging when I was in Hawaii, so if you want to go check out those vlogs, it's a lot of goodness over there. And I'm still vlogging because I'm going up to Northern California for three Miranda shows with a massive entourage. We got a massive crew with us this week, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So please tune in to the vlog channel, see all that. And above all else, you guys know the deal. Stay awesome, possums.